Wait, wait. <laughs> so we had a customer call. They said he needs this job done right away. Right. So right now. Like right now. Right. Needs the job done right now. His exact words were, Sean, I need to sell this house. <laughs> Can we get this job done ASAP, please? So we're not exactly uh set up for this and I will say we kind of messed up a little bit breaking the dump trailer down because we've had a ton of calls. Well TQ's had a ton of calls. Yes. And uh People want leaf cleanups and breaking down the leaf back. Yeah, we're kind of regretting that just a little bit, but we'll learn not, for next year, though. Right, we're not gonna let it stop us. We're gonna get out here and get it done. And uh, like we told this customer, Spencer Lawn Care always gets it done. We'll get her done. Let's go. <laughs> We have an idea actually we have a few different ideas we're gonna see what works best because we don't have the debris loader put together so we're gonna try to either bag them with the 6,000 and then back it in and dump if that doesn't work we're gonna go ahead and just put the tarp right here and we'll dump onto the tarp and then carry them in it's really gonna depend on how hard it is to get in and out my original plan was to back into the driveway because it's really steep and pretty much drive straight in and out but they have workers here today and they're coming in and out of the driveway, so we can't do that. So, got to pivot, but we'll make it work. That's right. Let's get it unloaded. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this door in just so it's not out in the road. So this baby's gonna move quick. I got the electrical company here. It's uh, I wish we could have came here when there was less people. Look at this guy down at the end of the road. He's out in shorts, no shirt on, living the dream. So we brought a tarp. Don't mind my diesel can. Yes, I know guys, don't put two cycle in it. It's all I have. Here, I'll make it red for you guys real quick. <laughs> I'll need to fill up. I'll make it red for you one more time. It's actually a red can. It just, uh, I don't know what happened to it. It changed it the yellow. It faded the yellow. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Still BR800X. All right, so how we're gonna go at this one. TQ is going to go around everything that I can't get to or close with the mower. So around the house, tree rings, rocks bed here. Most of this on this steep hillside will probably just blow down to the bottom and then we'll pick them up here and then on into the trailer.
Anytime you're using a bagger, the best thing to do is try to nibble away at the leaves a little bit at a time. So you'll see I'm kind of taking like half passes almost. The best way to clog up your mower is to go into a humongous pile, especially ones like these. These are soaking wet. There's a ton of mud underneath of here. And if you want to plug up your uh, old deck there and the chute and have to dig it out by hand, that's the way to do it. Just run into a massive pile of them. So TQ is kind of feathering them out here a little bit for me. And then I just go over them, grab a little bit at a time. And uh, it just takes a little patience, something that I don't always have or uh, do the best at, I guess you could say. But we got it taken care of here. I forgot to turn the camera on the first dump. So uh, we're going to film the second dump here. <laughs> So backing in and dumping it works. The problem is as I'm coming out, I'm dragging them back out with me. So with that being said, we're gonna go to tarping it now and then just carrying it up in there, getting it in as far back in as we possibly can. definitely our best bet.
tape in the house. See it on the door there? I'm trying not to get any dirt our way. So I'm kind of restricted on how much I can do right here. So I can get everything but in that corner by where they just painted that door. So I'm going to avoid that. We're kind of working it around. We got to stay off this hill. This hill, it's got water just running off of it. So I'm trying to get everything up the hill as high as possible where it's flatter, where TQ can grab it up and get it out of here. Uh, she's mainly been spending this time right now picking a ton of sticks up. This thing is covered in branches that have came down over the winter. So we're going to keep working at it. teaming it up. So I can't stress it enough. Anytime you're on a hill, sideways, straight up and down, put your rops up, put your seat belt on, guys. If the mower flips over, at least it won't, it shouldn't crush you or cut you to pieces. Just put the uh, rops up, 
Put the seatbelt on. to go extremely slow so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up simply because I have added weight to the back of the mower with the bagger and I'm adding more clippings and debris to that bagger it's getting heavier and heavier as I go so this thing does kind of pan out a little bit I guess as I get co closer to the tree but uh, I still wanted to be super careful just so we didn't have an accident if you know what I'm saying but we're getting it done and it's looking great guys spring cleanup on this one is done ran into a ton of challenges today obviously not having a debris loader this whole area here though is super super wet okay these tracks here are not from us. This is from when they've been bringing their dump trailers and stuff in and out of here. Extremely hard to get leaves out of as well. We blew them. They're just stuck in the mud, pretty much smashed in. But up here, looks really nice. Yeah, they took that big swimming pool that was here. Really soft in this area as well. This was a big old hole. Went all the way across the back. Put a pile of stuff here out of the yard. They still got some trash kind of floating around that area there in the corner where we couldn't get to. This area here is super soft as well. We did as best we could, but they just put that gas in here and ran the line all the way to the house. So really soft.
Just doing my final walk around. This stuff, they just replaced the door and painted it. So we didn't want to blow up in this area. So we avoided here and there on the back doors. They will get done, but here in probably two weeks, we'll start mowing it until it sells, which will be very quickly. The thing being is it still takes minimum six weeks to nine, 12 sometimes, depending on how fast the sale goes to, uh, you know, finalize the deal and sell it and the new owners take possession. So we know we'll at least be mowing it for the first few months of the season. So we can hit those areas, but good enough for them to take pictures. All right. Whew. That was a lot of fun, huh? That was fun. I don't even know what time it is. I need the keys. I don't either. My phone's not turning on. So oh. we got here about 10. What time is it? it? Says it is 146. 146. So just under four hours. So, yeah, kind of fun. That's my brother. <laughs> there it is. Got this baby cleaned up, looking good. They can get their uh, drone shots, videos, whatever. It's not going to take much to sell this place. It's no. absolutely beautiful now. Yeah, absolutely. So we hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's season kickoff. It has started. Let's go, baby. Hope you guys have a great lawn care 2022. Make that money. As always, keep mowing. Keep growing. Keep making money, boys. Talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye. Bye.